Howdy y'all, it's your host Rogue. Welcome back to Love of Games. We're playing a little Life is Strange uh, True Colors today. We're going to go and try to find out some more information on Mac. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Let's continue. Should we tell Riley that Eleanor Eleanor said losing? Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? You just found a mountain lion. <laughs> All right. Oh, poor Eleanor. Max at the bridge. I don't want to trigger him just yet. I want to see if there's anything else. That was weird. If there's anything else. You already announced that you're buying it. Now you're there again. Let's try to talk to Ethan one more time, then we'll go to New Mac. Ugh, this is awful. He was so young. He must be reading about Gabe. I'm here for you, whenever you need me. Right there. All right, off to go do Max thing. Then maybe give a full report to the police officer. Didn't realize we had walked so far. I do want to tell Riley about Eleanor, though. Thanks for spending time with me. Thanks for letting me. Never mind, I guess I can't. I gotta hear it one more time. I freaking love that, it's hilarious. What's up, Mac? You look upset like a heart that attack. So fucked. Can't hide from me forever, Mac. Fuck. Here we go. Mac. Gotta be gangster. Look, it's not a good time. 
You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. What? Costing me my girlfriend wasn't enough for you? Now you're gonna accuse me of killing Gabe too? I get it. He died on your shift and you're freaked, but you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. You can, you just don't want Something to. Something definitely has him scared. If I could just push him over the edge. Yeah, push him over the edge of the bridge. What Riley told me might do it. But I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. There are a few things I want to do. Uh, I should make sure there's nothing else. Oh, there's no way to save. I want to do before I confront Mac. We'll just confront him. All right. Am I ready for this? Okay, let's do this. Inside audio, bright lights. Your ex-girlfriend told me about your plans to skip town. That's not something innocent people do. Look, I didn't... It's not... I didn't do anything. <gasps> Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Chasing him down. Oh, they got cameras everywhere. Fuck. I'll deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. Why does Typhon have cameras I throughout the town? I saw Mac run down that alley. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me. It should have been you instead. Alex? No, what the hell? There are people out there. No, I told you to call it off. I saw the way they looked at me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's pressuring you. You made a mistake. It's about revenge. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call.
I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down, but does he deserve it? Yeah. We'll calm him down. All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? a little better <laughs> yeah well you learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life <laughs> so what are you gonna do now don't leave haven i'm gonna get to the truth That's a big truth, man. You could have just let him burn. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you? Who are you calling? Okay. So, I guess we're helping Mac now. Who did you call? Eleanor? Riley? Steph? Jed? Oh, you called the ranger man. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. You need to find a way to calm him down, dang.
these two moments from cracking himself. It was my fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You saved Ethan. That kid is alive right now because of you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. I know what it's like to feel worthless and helpless. But we saved Ethan. And you saved me. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe. I'm so sorry. You're both gonna end up going over that rock if you're not careful. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. <laughs> you're not alone. <laughs> oh, poor dude. He's definitely feeling suicidal. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold on. <laughs> There's a guy in a gorilla suit? <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. <laughs> that guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is uh well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. <laughs> I tell you, he's the oldest 12-year-old I know. Was. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? You gonna tell him? Or you gonna hold it in? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This probably isn't going to go well. This is going to seem sort of weird at first. Then really weird. Do you trust me? Now you got him confused and scared. Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus. Until you feel it. Go on. Mac. Typhon, all of it. 
You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man. This one time. <laughs> Hey, your phone. Your phone. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> We're going to interrupt that quick moment to... Thank you for the support of the last few days. Hope we have the Silver Dragon back to operating normal IRs again sometime next week. Thanks for the update. Excited to stock up. If you need anything to help out with Ethan or anything, let me know. Glad I was able to help, but I think I'll pass on the kisses. The Legend of Alex grows. We're going to send him off right this time. Do you think Eleanor's going to remember? <laughs> what emotion is this? <laughs> Loud and bright. <laughs> Must be a good memory. I wonder if I can piece it together. Loud. Gabe. Goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! You hit a goose, really? <laughs> How deep you think? <laughs> Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian <laughs> Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. The Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. How long were you gonna let me dig? <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna stop you. <laughs> Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. <laughs> Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The, the crown of... <laughs> Property of the crown, Gabe. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> So, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> I guess I have this power. I can see other people's emotions. They show up like an aura, and if I get too close, I... 
I feel what they feel. As if I was feeling it myself. And when I focus, I can even understand why they're feeling it. And that's what you just did with... with me? Yep. He took advantage of you. Ooh. Some kind of power. No kidding. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But... that... That was... pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now, I guess, just you. And I told him. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call, and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. I thought it was Diane. You handshake or a hug? I give a hug. A bro hug. You're welcome, I guess. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. No. Thank you. Alrighty then. Now we gotta go on and figure out what else happened. Rocky Mountain Record Traders. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. Gonna be another silent album? Yep. That's what he would like. Silence to air guitar to you. Silently drinking, no music at all. Silently talking. Hey, at least you're bringing Eleanor. You ever find the body? I didn't speak this morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you, I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build.
the paper lantern flies off to catch a fire I somewhere. Love you, Gabe. They're all feeling happy. The one person, I don't know, Diane is there. But she's not feeling happy. He's feeling scared. Yeah, she's the one who had it all to do with her brother's death. The four percent allow Mac to deal with it on his own. Alex and Eleanor, what happened? Eleanor forgets about Gabe's death. Charlotte signs the Typhoon Agreement. Oh yeah, you can just go without visiting her. That'd be messed up. Alex enjoyed a quiet moment at the dock. I need up the apartment, an album, photograph, didn't have anything. Let's go Alexandria, Alto, Alwyn. I think we hit most things. Alex, back trying to clean up the wig. Yeah, Steph whipped her ass at some foosball. Rin stats. Huh, that's interesting. Next chapter. Now we're going on to chapter three. Monster or mortal? You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Not fucking with you. Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not. You don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. 
I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. No, she's on the take advantage of you. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No. But she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty... Thank you so much. Wow, I can't read that. Thank you so much. Remember my birthday last week and that Marco was good. It was excellent. You're welcome anytime. Best cook. Yeah. Now, Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. Speak to them. How's it going? We have some ideas that are going to blow your mind. Well, let's not get ahead of it. Blow your mind. <laughs> Can't wait. Beer tap? Ah, Colorado tap water. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? Birdwashing contests even work. Who's checking the sightings? If I can get help on my own, Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. What? Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Mmm. Appetizing. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Oh. Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. So you're cleaned up. Anything back here? Can't go back there. Cash register, some back quarters. Can't do anything there. In your face, Ryan Lucan. I'm birder of the year, and your reign is finished. Uh oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. Time for your bath. Hey, welcome. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Steph and Ryan. Before you do that, 
The spring festival is nigh. Nigh, I say. Not to be a single issue voter or anything, but fuck Typhon. Love you, Gabe. We got Ducky in here. It's going to be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. It's going to be a long night tonight. Always is. Same thing every year. Jed acts like he's in charge, but we all know who really calls the shots in here. Ducky almost hustled me out of my first paycheck. Good thing Jed's poor Amelia. So... I started Dust in Daylight while you were at work. You're kidding. I already got to Verdant Cliffs. Wait. Holy shit. Seriously? Yeah, I'm kind of addicted. It's a good game. I'm... so glad you like it. Charlotte must be getting ready for the LARP. Hey. Getting ready for the big LARP? Oh, hey. Yeah. Trying. I hope we can get Ethan into it. All right, so... Sorry. Let's talk later. Not like any of those were the song that Lady was looking for. Where are you, girl from Rome? Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, Where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit, blast from the past, Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Oh, eventually Jed pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet, thanks. Hey boss, do the words alabaster daydreams <laughs> mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Let's hear this infamous song. I never once saw it. Oh, there it is. Alabaster Daydreams. That's it. How the hell? Don't worry about it. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? 
Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. Workshopping? What, what are they? What does workshopping mean? Figuring exactly. them out? It means Ryan won't admit that my plan is perfect. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up. Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my God, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan, except I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> Those ideas both kind of sucked. <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> Steph asking her out may be more of a distraction, but I don't think she's gay. Let's go with Steph. Badass DJ? It's a no-brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. In your face. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the... the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? Let me for Gabe's sake. You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. Oh, that's BS. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. Such a corporate answer. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac. But let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She's sad. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. Do you have um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. That's a nice cross. Oh. Thanks. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. Oda? <laughs> Such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. A month later, and I can still feel the void he left behind. Are 
Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Typhon does a lot of local hiring, huh? We're always growing. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. Yeah, that'll jack her up. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? That seemed fishy. All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. Yeah, loud and bright. Time to find out what Diane is really hiding. Hello? Ms. Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Wait. There's something else. Yes, I can't dear. undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. You're really helping with that USB stick, though. Hey, Diane. Oh, hey, Steph. How are you? So, what's your deal? I'm sorry? Are you single, semi-single, taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa, <laughs> was not expecting that at all. Um... Am I blushing? I feel like I'm blushing. <laughs> yeah, I could see your cheeks from space. Super. Real good luck for me. I'm so flattered. I don't even know what to say. Hey, no, no sweat. Just think about it. Get back to me. I'm not going anywhere. She's considering it. Hey, there you go. Whatever makes you happy.
heart is pounding. <laughs> Steph, there's a very real chance that you awoke something in Diane. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> All right, let's see. Terrifying. I know I'm cracking up, but that was legit terrifying. I hope it was worth the risk. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In Brute the force meantime, attack. we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? Is the guitar really necessary? What? H how can you be a bard without a guitar? The bard's whole job is to musically regale people. Well then, prepare to be regaled. Hopefully you've been practicing. So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Ducky's gift to me for finding his booze. It's, um, it's a unique expression of gratitude. All right, whoa. All right, so there's been a lot going on. So many memories of Gabe I didn't get to make. Thank you to everyone who attended Gabe Chen Memorial Service and a special show of gratitude to those who spoke. I think we did Gabe proud. Remember the thing he used to do when he was, when he would get choked up, he'd be too embarrassed a minute. I haven't cried since I was like 14. It's allergies, don't look at me. Gonna miss him a lot. Same, yeah. Hey, I decided to close my portrait commissions for the time being. I need to work through my backlog. Sorry to disappoint. Get all the time you need nuts. I shouldn't have put this off. Last call for LARPers. For those who haven't heard, I'm planning to LARP live action roleplay for the afternoon of the Spring Festival. In dire need of NPCs. If you ever wanted to try LARPing, fun, low pressure, way to get your feet wet. Come on, buy the record traders and let's discuss details. To Stephanie, did I ever tell you I started? I started in a science fiction film. I was fresh from Korea when the director, Mr. Julius Allen Silver, spotted me in the hardware store. He said, Mister, you ever considered being in pictures? Of course I had not, but in those days I was eager to swallow every morsel on my plate, so to speak. So, of course I agreed. The film was to be called Invaders of the Mechanical Planet. I believe I still had a reel around here somewhere should you wish to organize the screening ducky i genuinely never would have wanted anything more in my life i'm down i got plans for you kid uh -oh. best job i've ever had not that the competition is super fierce attention black lantern customers of black lantern is happy now that we have returned to normal hours of operation we want to thank all the patients and support during the difficult time in our community we look forward to seeing you soon on a happier note, I'm going to give a big black lantern welcome to Alex Chin, who has been accepted as a full-time wait staff position with us. Be sure to show her some love when you see her. Nice. Go, Alex. Love. Excellent news. Reminder to all Haven residents, Typhoon Mining will be setting up charges tonight at 5 p.m. Please ensure danger. designated danger areas are clear. Call 24-hour safety line with questions or concerns. Please take note of the revised safety protocols publicly on our website. Stay safe and enjoy the Spring Festival. This poster has disabled reply. Wow. Still so many. Lark volunteers, if you still haven't synced up with me about your characters cutting a little closer, buds, hit me up. To Stephanie. 
I've read an extensive backstory from my character inspired by the sections of Wu Chang En's Journey of the West. However, whenever I try to include it in the application, I receive an error message to the effect that I exceed the character limit. Thoughts? Well, I know what I'm doing this afternoon. Can you drop a cup of coffee by my shop? On my way. Lathe flowers. Good morning. Haven Springs, a famous rose garden, has been polished up and stocked with our finest. You can find it in the park at sundown. Pick one and present it to your spring festival suite. Man, nobody's ever got me a rose at the spring festival. Don't worry, nobody's ever given Ryan one either. Har har, we'll see his laugh night. Me at you? Yeah, probably. Dude, it's no fun picking on you if you're just going to admit defeat. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. The Sheriff's Department would like to provide a brief update regarding the ongoing investigation into the death of Gabe Chen. Mr. Chen's death has been officially ruled in an accident. However, our investigation remains open and we encourage any members of the community who might have valuable information to step forward and share it with us. Our goal now is to gain a comprehensive understanding of the events that led to Mr. Chen's death in order to prevent future harm from anyone in the community. Thanks for your service, Deputy Pike. If it was ruled in an accident, why are you still investigating? As stated above, the goal is to gather enough evidence to prevent an accident. This can run an accident. Scary quotes. Yum, loved to lick boots. Go back to your safe space. Please don't make me disable comments. It will be closed to regular business this afternoon in order to participate in Steph Gingrich's live action game. We'll see you all this evening at the Spring Festival. Have fun, live action. What? It's called LARP, Dad. I know, I was testing. Alright, so that's all of those. Oh my goodness. We got Mac Attack. Thanks for your help, Chen. Just remember, I never told you anything. I risk more than my job to talk to you. Here you, Mac. Don't worry. Get some sleep. Easier said than done. Alright. You guys make an official welcome down to the Takedown Typhon Blade. Fuck yeah. Honor and pleasure. Celebrating Alex's tonight. Should Alex make the proposal too late? Well, I guess I'm hosting then. You get free tonight for more scheming. Sounds good. Down. Crazy idea. Breaking the Typhon office in Denver. Got it all figured out, but they have server access there. We can find evidence. Steph, you're not driving to Denver and breaking into a highly secure corporate office, boo. But if we did, could I be the getaway driver? Sure. But Steph, your license expired. How do you even know that? Because he's a big loser. Big loser with a valid license. You guys are killing me. The plan is to go. Distract, distract. All right. I feel like we we haven't seen any of these. All right, hey, so you two, it's Steph. Yes, thanks. Yeah, no big tell you, Larp. Of course, Ethan's gonna love it. Don't think you're done playing foosball with me. Rivalry continues. Need a chance to redeem yourself. Salt in the wind, Steph. Damn, all good fun. Love to keep playing. Come on over tonight, sick. Alex, I'm going to start running Tunnels and Chambers game this week if you want to join. Hey, I have no idea what that involves. Sitting around, snacks, role-playing, cool story, pretending to kill stuff, I'm somewhere else. Is it okay if I'm terrible? One, you won't be terrible. Two, sit in the first session. We can play it by ear. Brad, you free tonight. Ryan and I are meeting up. I wanted to fill you in on some digging. We're doing on Typhoon. Hell yeah, I'd love to help you. What's up? What do you think about bringing your guitar over to the record store, jamming a bit? Like in front of other human beings, just like this human being. Haven't played in front of other people in recent memory. Maybe particular about a lot of things, but in this case, I'm a judgment-free zone. What the hell? Let's go for it one time. Anytime tonight, I'm free. Think about another jam session tonight. I'd say yay. Ideas. Oh dear. Oh no, I promise. By the way, you're generally great. Have a gorgeous voice. Thank you. Way too kind. Downright lie. No. They say one message. That is a whole chat thread. Same right here.
All right, so we know the record store. Don't know what to say. Sound terrible. Can we talk? All right, so this should be it. I'm glad I could help. Do you want to meet tonight? What's the next for our super sleuthing? Absolutely. Tell me when and where. Smiley face. Hey, do you need a break from late night research? Want to go to mountain biking Saturday? Hurling over dangerous trains. So relaxing. Be a lot of fun, I promise. Okay, I'll try. Don't worry. We'll, we can replace the front wheel. My ass still hurts. You handled it like a champ. Sorry, I don't notice, but tonight is our annual viewing of the Amazing Nature documentary if you want to enjoy it. Amazingly, Steph is busy for the third year in a row. I'm detecting a pattern here. Uh, they're like a stuffy British dude narrating. The stuffiest. Right answer, I'm in. I'm guessing that both Ryan and Steph like her. Nothing new from Jed Riley. All right, so we're back quite a bit with her. Alex, so sorry, please let me know if you need anything. Good, drowning in flowers, help. A little random question, random question. Are you Princess Shushu 2539? OMG, how? LOL. No, really, how? You showed me Shushu when I visited. I remember 2539 is Alex on the phone keypad. I've been had. Haha. -ha. Did you play Dust and Daylight? I didn't take you for a JRPG girl. Yeah, me either, but I found it here. Thought I'd give it a shot. Now I can't get enough. Thought I was playing single player only. You must have spirit guides turned on because I can see you wandering around the port of clouds. Oh, that's cool. Can we play sometime? I'm stuck at the big scorpion boss. Love to. Hey, girl, thanks for the drink last night. Great to just unwind with you. Got it. Let's do it again. Man, they be talking. I found the lawyer. Stop by. Give me more details by the financial assistance. Thanks for your advice. Hell yeah. I'd much rather you take the money than Tyth and keep it. Hey Alex, would you like to come over for dinner tonight? Sounds amazing, love to. Can I bring anything? Just you, maybe wine. LOL, see you tonight. Hey again, a little worn out. Any chance you can watch Ethan on Wednesday? Happy to. Can you pay me more than lemon bars you made last week? For sure. You want the recipe? Nah, I'd rather earn them by hanging out with Ethan more than have to cook. Good deal. Hi Alex, so sorry, but I have to cancel our girls night. I'm not feeling great. No problem, do you need anything? I'm okay, thanks though. Sure. How many gummies is too many gummies? Oh, sweetie. Sorry, relax. Can you tell me how many you had? How worried would you be if I had five gummies? Do you have anything else with them? Alcohol, other medication? Just snacks. Take a deep breath. Take a drink of water. Lie down on your side. Don't drive or do anything serious and we'll pass. And a little bit more than a normal dust, but nothing dangerous. Okay, thank you. Did I ever tell you I think you're so beautiful? Thank you. Now put your phone down and close your eyes. Hey, those texts last night were totally a test. Did I pass with flying colors? Ironically, flying colors are also what I see when I close my eyes today. Oh well. So you were hitting on Charlotte. Alright, Ryan Rage. Ryan's anger had teeth. It was sharp, savage, self-directed, a rabid animal with a prey concerned. Prey cornered. And because he was convinced he had earned that anger, he was ready to submit to it. Let it eat him alive. It was a strange finding the shape of Gabe in the absence he had left behind. I want more of the Gabe than I got. Ryan got it. A whole Gabe. A Gabe who breathed and took up space. And then the knife, the rope, the ravine, the only things in the world. He hated himself. I told him the truth that Gabe would have forgiven him and that he wasn't alone. My job is to keep people safe. Not a hero. Coward. Dead because of me. Can't shake the thought that you're dead because of me. You're not here to forgive. I don't know. How to go where dead folks go, but I also want to don't know how to live. Ryan Joy, how do I even start? That gold glow, the pain, the tension gradually fell away from Ryan's face, and then the laughter, private joy moment when Ryan chose to turn a dumb mistake into a prank and trust that he had for Gabe, the love, her knowledge that he could fuck with Gabe and get away with it, that Gabe would love him for it. I pierced it together, found in the clouds, the goose, the car, the grave. And just for a minute, I got to have a sort of relationship with Gabe that Ryan had. I feel so fucking grateful for that. This morning, I thought I'd only ever know people that were pain. I thought I could live with that. I meant for helping people honoring Gabe. But then, what's this joy? I felt like a raft. 
pocket of air on top of an underwater lake. Everything feels great. Property of the Crown, a lot of blood. Real Canadian Mountain Police can spot a goose grave 100 paces. Did have dug a deeper grave. The Night of the Living Geese. Now I want for Goose Side by the Mounted Police. Diane Sadness. Guilt sits as strangely in people, all the nine urgency of anger, all the pressing weight of sadness, each canceling the other out until you feel paralyzed, stacked to the spot. It's a horrible thing to carry around with you, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone, but Diane comes close to deserving it. She saw Gabe as a sort of twin, another outsider dragged to Haven Springs who found a way to make this place home. She actually misses him, feels emptiness of the spot or space he left it. It rips her up inside, but in the face of that anguish, what does she do? Curls inward, fortifies her defenses. That's her focus, saving herself. She could have been so much better than she is, but I don't know, maybe so could I. I tricked Diane, dug her grief, and fooled her into confronting it. Maybe I was naive to think of this power basically selfless, but knowing I can use it to manipulate someone like that, I'm not sure I like it. No one deserves to die like that. I can't undo what Typhon did. Came here looking for a better life. There's been an accident. Can't undo what Titan did. To the boy you saw yourself within your knife, but Titan's hand carving an accident into her skin. All right. So we're I found up some on that. really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. I know this is Ethan's copy, but I'm level 73 and I'm not stopping. You can put the silent song on. Did not expect you to sit down, though. Sometimes it's hard to say where Gabe ends and I begin. His job, his apartment, his life here but if there is a seam somewhere I see it most in Steph and Ryan in my mind when we're all together I can imagine him in my place and I can watch the scene unfold like a spectator for a life I barely knew I never thought about or drawing faces on if those. I choose instead I can forget about Gabe and just accept however improbably that Steph and Ryan care about me for my own sake, for no other reason. I think I know which one Gabe would prefer. Trying to figure out a partner here? You should just be your friends. I haven't beat Steph a single time. That just means I'm overdue for a win. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but it felt like I had to do something. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. I feel like I kept the hat in here. Huh. There it is. Oh, hi there. Now, what do you unlock? Got a key. Yeah. I don't need to know what that was for. Yeah, you do. Another one of Gabe's hidden cans. Half person, half dump truck. Steph knows how to LARP on a budget. I hope Ethan... Oh, shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. His wallet? You can take the kid out of juvie. Lockpick. Keys. Uh -huh. One match left. I don't know why, but... This must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. 
I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. A housewarming gift from Eleanor. She said Gabe loved... Was it in here? Where the hat was would make the most sense. All right. We're one step closer now. All right. Yeah, totally there. Steph, I will murder you. <laughs> Wish I'd taken Steph's advice. Oh. You t partaking of the marijuana gummies. Look at your character wow. sheet. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. Backstory after an unusual encounter with a dire wolf, swallowing her loot, Alexandria at the bard has been a constant companion to Einor the monster slayer. The two have endured many trials and have recently found themselves answering a call to the heroes of the city of Stormborn. Einor. Backstory Tynor the monster slayer is the most famous hero of the Outer Peninsula. Even the smallest child knows how he once felled a alley bear with empty hands. Hurl a spear into the face, wrath mid fight. Higher class has been saved from the scourge's darkness thanks to Tynor for unraveled stain. His shield of cur courage, stab, burning blade. Nice. Maybe that key will finally reveal your secrets. This must have been Gabe's. Eight shit right list. Find Alex. Find the older stone or Chevy. Reimburse Chev for free rent. Return to Nasia's something. Donate to Lawrence Detention Center. Apologize to Vic. New bag for Kevin. Apologize to Zoe. Really apologize for something this time. Apologize to Ira telling him, you know, like his remixes. It's a long list. Apologize to Oscar. I bet he would have gotten through it. Hey, Mr. Robot for a Chevy. Apologize to the guy in the mall. Right, thank you letter to Lenny. Mel, check to Mrs. Franks for broken window. She moved to Maryland. Track her down. Right to Mr. Henry. Forgive Dad. Wow, Gabe. Still finding ways to break my heart, huh? A dire rat joined your party. You're going to go LARP, so you need... I can't even tell what that is. Do the flannel. I didn't even know what to say when Charlotte gave this to me. How do you even respond to such a perfect gift? I'm really glad my advice helped. Good. Leave it to me to wreck Gabe's bike on my first ride. At least Ryan had a good laugh about it. One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. We literally never found it. Wait, 
Wait, feather. This feather separates the bust. Okay, just need to grab my guitar now. Put it in your bag of holding. Alex the bar, Whoa. ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> All right, so Ethan's not feeling it right now. I'm gonna go upstairs real quick, see if there's anything going up there. It seems like that'd be an easy way to miss something. Gonna give me control? Yikes. This garden is looking gnarly. I wonder how many times Gabe got stoned up here and stared at these. Guessing it was more than zero. I haven't played for anyone else in years. That was a good night. So far, Ryan is the only one that uses this. Maybe I should just gift it to him. Maybe I can clean you up a bit. Well, it's better than nothing. Ugh, you need a lot of help, don't you? That one has way more weeds. better. You just throw it on the ground? Alright, down we go. The LARP LARPing LARP. The LARP LARP. LARP 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 LARP. I have a guitar case as well. I guess you wouldn't want to carry that around. Cheering up, or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... I'd be pretty bummed if I didn't get to play my first LARP with you. I do want to do this. It's just... I'm bothering him.
Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so... <sighs> sad. Because I'm, like, bummed out. But I can't just pretend. You can. I thought pretending was the whole idea of this thing. Acting like you're someone else, just for a little bit? I guess. The crazy thing is, sometimes, pretending you're having fun can trick you into actually having fun. Couldn't hurt to try. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor needs his bard. Alexandria. Thanor, the monster slayer! Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh... There's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh. Sure. The hordes of ogres. A horde of ogres! That's a lot. Thanor slew them with a single shot. My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom. Survive whatever's out there and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go now. My people are counting on you. Nice. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. Reminder, we are open. We know a lot of you have floral needs. The ramp up to Spring Festival, and despite the event on Main Street, we'll be maintaining business hours till 5 p.m. today. Attention, monster hunters. There appears to be a result. Some extra dimensional rift opening up and spilling another universe of floors to our world. The magpie and poor will investigate. Glad you're having fun, honey. Like the sweet grandma I was like, yeah. You do your best. Magpie Emporium arrived late in the night, transformed empty storefront into a fully stocked magic supply shop. Mortal residents are encouraged to come by and pursue our wares. This is kind of exciting. What are you feeling? Alex really saved the day. Gabe would be proud. Thanks, Jed. You're happy. How do we know where to look? Yes. I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Yep. Oh. Live action role play. If you knew how everything was going to go, then it wouldn't be as much fun.
But it's also going to involve a lot of freaking running. What do you think the jewels are for? Magic ritual? Maybe some kind of magic ritual that protects the whole kingdom. Does King Tabor know magic? I guess we'll find out. A coin. Wow. Hard to see that in the graph. What did you just find? A gold coin. Do you think there's more of them? I don't know. Let's keep looking. <laughs> okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Language. There's a child. All right. Um, he's burning burning one blade. blade. One damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Uh, I can't remember what stirring him does. Doubles Thanor's next attack. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. Uh, ah! Two damage. Ah! I'm still on fire. Alex, that's what we want. Oop, we need Thanor. Stab does two damage. <clears throat> Four damage. Loot him. Loot. Oh, cool. I learned a magic attack. <laughs> One damage to allies. Better be nice to Thanor. Nice. Let's keep going. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks. Sorry, Ryan. It was self-defense. Maybe unlocks. Oh, a dollar. Huh. Did Ethan drop this? I swung over the top ones. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. I dare you. This is actually really fun. I know, right? How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. All right. Before we go down into here, oh, we'll go down into here. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. Oh, I bet we can use that. Resource you and your ally to full health from your negative set instead. What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh, awesome. Well, now, who do we have here? Thanor the Monster Slayer and my bard. And what you up to, Thanor? Saving your lives. There's monsters out there. Orcs and minotaurs and such. Be careful. Sounds dangerous. How about a dragon with a candy treasure hoard, chocolate coins, sugar pearls, gummy jewels? Yes, I love that. Mi 
Ah. I left. I thought you were done talking. You'd have to be athletic to do that. Hey, hey, what's all this? Too busy to talk right now. Sorry. Knock him dead. Ethan's back to his old self, thank God. What a great kid. Ethan's got a lot of people who care about him. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. What's that about? Looks like you dropped something, Diane. Diane Jacobs every Tuesday at 10 p.m. Why can't I read the sign? I don't want to enter the tavern yet. Heed my warning, you traveling twosome. For within that tavern, it is quite gruesome. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. That makes two of us. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues. Alright, anything over here? No. Don't know why that popped up. I didn't see. another scroll can't hide with ribbon that bright scroll of nimbleness plus one to dodge junior allies will dodge the next attack may only be used once found a scroll yeah looks like the black lantern is part of the larp You don't want me to go further that way. Go get him, Ethan. I'm Thanor. Go get Could there be something down the alley? Probably. Probably should go back to the tavern. me behold my love has been slain by yonder river monster where just down the yonder alley near the river alas alas <laughs> beware of river monster Some kind of snake? I guess. Looks like a kobold. Do we have to fight it? Why wouldn't we? We could save our energy for something scarier. 
save our scrolls, too. True. It's gonna attack. What do you want to do? Let's fight it. Go to fight. Whatever. Let's just fight it. Bring it on, snake meat. Do 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 do. Alex, we're gonna have you do the stirring him. Stirring him. Double Thanor's next attack. Up, go up, go up. It does not want to go to attack. Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. All right, Ethan, you gotta take it out. If I can get to the, the correct thing. To a burning blade. Burning blade. One damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Spitting venom. Ah, I'm poisoned. Ah, I'm still on fire. Ow. Poison damage. You're gonna have to heal. Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. Go up, go up. Why does it want to go to attack? That to be <clears throat> two damage. <sighs> oh. Two damage. Ah, uh, I'm still on fire. Ow, poison damage. Everyone's getting hurt. Alex. Magic. Healing serenade. Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. Ethan. Attack. Stab it. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> ah! Two damage. Ow. Poison damage. Hey, Alex is really getting hurt. No, I don't want to use the scroll of healing yet. We're gonna use magic, healing serenade. Healing serenade. Plus one health to us. Ethan, we are going to stab it again. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> oh. Two damage. Ow. Poison damage. Healing serenade. Plus one health. How much health does it have? We're gonna do another stab. <clears throat> Two damage. <sighs> All right, it's dead. It dropped something. More loot. All right, let's make some ears bleed. Horrid disarray attack effect does three damage and may only be used once per battle. Awesome. Wait, what's that? It's the loot. It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. 
Yeah. <coughs> Are you bummed that we had to kill the snake? Nah, it's fine. What happened to the rest of the music? Oh, we got a song. Anything? Just trying to see if there's anything over here. We're gonna go back to the tavern. That was a good point about saving our energy. Oh, look yeah. at that. Can't hide from me, scroll. Got another scroll. Cool. Okay. We handled the river serpent. Thank you, adventurers. But you should probably clean up that body. <laughs> All right, back to the tavern. Sorry, did you say she stole your crocheting needles? Hey, kid, you responsible for that massacre in the Black Lantern? I'll be taking that. Is hey, scroll advantage? We're nice. like master scroll seekers. Yep. All right, so we got one Looks stone. Like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. Want to look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. You stain the ground with the blood. Let's see what there is. Heh, <laughs> an arm. What happened here? Fellow survivors, I see. Who are you? Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. Do you know what this key is for? Belonged to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Nice. Let's see what we can find around here. Oh, he's having a good time. I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. All the drinks I want. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Okay. Yes? Why doesn't it ever like to got the ale? I see you've poured yourself some ale. You just survived a monster attack. I think you deserve a couple drinks on the house. Truly wise beyond your years. So, up. Oh, how did you survive? How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. <laughs> she had it coming. Stingy dish wench.
Want to tell them about our quest? We're on a quest to end the Age of Monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. Figures. This Open would have been turn. real useful back at the river. Ah. We should have came here first. That sucks. We're going to keep looking around. That Good snake luck. jacked us up. What's the warning? We're going to have to deal with this, aren't we? Did you see this warning? I wonder if Alexandra the Bard would have cracked the tavern top 20. Anything else? No, moving forward. Steph really went all out in here. I actually feel bad for that person. If there was a monster. Ugh, rough day for Barry the tavern keeper. So gorgeous. Where does Steph get... That's cool looking. Feynor! Did you see this? That's got to be it! Ah, there's a gem. It's one of the jewels! Sweet. One down, two to go. That wasn't so bad, right? Now I feel more confident we can find the others. In retrospect, this is so obviously a decoy. House Bard. Sorry, Steph. Alexandra is pretty happy with her current gig. Nice. Hey, a coin. Oh, hey, a coin. <laughs> I think I just said those words. I want to focus on Ethan right now. This must be the second half of the song. Hypnotic fugue. Can't wait to transfix some monsters with my sweet hypnotic jams. Wanted poster. This kingdom has serious problems. Oh gosh, I think Ducky dropped this. The 13th quinquennial meeting of the Daegu Biscuit Boys is hereby called to order. I'm sorry to announce that all six of us remain upright and above ground. First point of order. Ducky, if you had to guess, though, about how much longer are you fixing to live? Just long enough to collect, Gordon, and not a minute longer. I'll crawl graveward with your shares clutched in my stiffening fingers. You mark my words. <laughs> that better be washable. Here we go. This probably has the answer to that riddle. Bellin, Naira, Decise. Long ago, unspeakable terrors reigned even in daylight. Four heroes faced the great shadow of the Kellen Shores. For days, the battles rage until the powers of the Great Shadow overwhelm the four heroes, pushing them to the brink of death. There are four ways strained blood here. Three of the heroes gave their lives, calling upon an ancient spell that pulled the souls from their bodies and fashioned them into three sons of immeasurable power. Naira, Berserker, Strongest of Four, became the Soul Ruby, Desirous Cleric, Waver of Souls became the Soul Sapphire, Bellin, the Illusionist, 
heap of old books became the sole amethyst. With all three jewels in hand, the fourth hero took the sword and struck down the great shadow. Pearson it with light, then wearily bloody from battle, the fourth hero hid the jewels and wandered deep in the wild, never to be seen again. Berlin, Nyred, if I can remember them. Monster Encyclopedia. Steph thought of everything. She's amazing at this. Guess Lawrence is going to need a new business advisor. Yeah, Steph did make this really cool. All right, I think. Bye. I think we found everything in here. Godspeed. Sucks as we're still poisoned. Check out what I found in that chest. Plus on dodge. Nice. Nice work, Thanor. You see, I warned you not to go. There was some really interesting stuff in there. I told you. Ready to answer? I'll say it once more. There are three, it is said. Heroes long dead. Fashioned into soul jewels. Blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. Their names are... The answer is Nira, Dasis, and Belen. You solved the riddle you've been told. Your prize? A useful hint. Behold. To bribe that deadly troll of old, you have to pay four coins of gold. Four coins. Got it. Nice. Ah, uh, there's more. Because you solved my verse, you may take one gold from my purse. Let's look Guess at it that's first. for us. Cake. Thanks. All right. I wish we could go back to the tavern when it's full of people. It was full of people. Alive people. Obviously. And you don't need them to be alive. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Come on. Monster abundances are when you need the apothecary. Aww. Disappointed. I thought I would finally get to go in. A scroll in need of a home. Sweet. We're gonna need I that saw scroll. That. Like right before you picked it up. Okay, you one, two, three. I control me. One, two, three. I control me. This book is written for fucking toddlers. Ooh. Nothing like getting pissed off at your anger management book. Yeah. Oh there! I hear you've dealt with the river serpent, huh? More than just talk, are you? Perhaps the magpie can help you on your quest. Step inside if your heart is true. It's really sweet how many people Steph's roped into this. Bah! What a thankless life. Being a smith in the age of monsters. Whoa. He's really into this. Everything okay? You seem pretty, um, grumpy. 
I've forgotten the damn components of Sun Silver. Don't suppose you know the composition? Hello? Um, if we find out, we'll tell you. I won't hold my breath. The Magpie Emporium. Please, Please knock, twice. knock twice. Go for it. Knock thrice. Monster or mortal? Mortal. Come in. Nice. Sorry about the lock. These are dangerous times. Welcome to the Magpie Emporium. Oh, so this is like a magic shop. I'm going to take a look around a bit, OK? OK. Wow, they did a lot of work for this. Let's see what Steph's done to the place. Oh, hey, Sun Silver. We should tell that blacksmith. Components, iron, goblin ore, fire powder. I'd like to try one of those bard instruments, please. You'll need to schedule a private appointment. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> Man, my dating life could have used a truth spell or two. Went to the Magma Forum every Sunday evening. As a classically trained bard, I gotta say, this music's not bad. He's forging the Sky Sword of Power. Oh yeah? One day, Thanor's gonna find it. When Alex said I'm hot, did she mean it? Or was she just messing around? Never seen Steph feel this way before. Maybe I could reassure her. She's always so confident. Holy shit. Steph looks fantastic. Okay. We'll check out the magic wares in a minute. That actually looks legit. It does, it's kind of scary. Golems. Animation fee not included. Oh, Steph. That's her cool. Spells. Very cute, Steph. Are these spells for sale? To members of the Sorcery Guild only. Sorry. It's a wonder Valkyrie's ever hungry. What, with all the human flesh I assume she consumes? I guess some heroes are into bards with flashy guitars, but I'm glad Thanor has better taste. Nice. Warning. Cat is cursed. Do not pet. Yeah, no need to warn me. Rawr. Seeking insight? Draw a card. Huh. What do I want insight about? Things. Oh, this is... I thought it was actually part of the quest. I... Hey. That's not wanting to work. Hey, back. Go with people. That's uh, not what I was either. I found. Holy shit. Too real. Yeah. Dang. Haven. Yikes. Things. Power? You were right, Gabe. I'm a superhero. 
things, people. Steph. Steph is just awesome. People, me? I mean, I hope that's true. People, Ryan. Is that true for Ryan? I hope so. All right. Uh, this behaves weird with the controller. I have to go back to mouse and keyboard. That uh, looks fantastic. What I was trying to do. The streets used to be full of people. I bet we're supposed to buy something here. The soul sapphire's right there. For sale. 10,000 gold? Okay. Obviously, there's some other way to get this. Discuss. Why is this 10,000 gold? Was I too generous? It was originally 20,000, but... No, I meant... Never mind. Maybe we... Would you consider giving us that sapphire? For my hand in marriage, sure. In exchange for something far more valuable. My hand in marriage and all of its associated benefits. And you should know, I wouldn't offer if I didn't mean it. You're killing her, LARP. Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh man. This just got real. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. But I'm afraid I can't accept. For now. We need the Sapphire right away. It's for a quest to end the Age of Monsters. I've heard there's a magical fish that lives in the River of Sorrows. Bring me back one of its scales, and I'll give you the sapphire in return. Nice, we already got the scale. One magic fish scale. Impressive. Well... Then, here's my end of the bargain. Well, we got two stones now. What other Only guess? one more jewel left. Getting there. Very friendly troll. Now that I'd like to see. One gold, one gold, one gold, three gold. I mean, it's four gold across, three gold with this. So there's definitely a troll at the Eastern Bridge. Do you think we can beat a troll? Three gold, please. All right. Speak. I hope we meet again. I do. I do. I do. I do. Maybe when Ethan's not around. It said dialogue option. I hope we meet again. Wonder if they have drills for this. All right, I think that's everything here. Leave the magpie show.
is we messed up with the snake. We took a lot of damage and got poisoned. Oh. Camera on this sometimes gets me. I'm still thinking about that tap. Hey, we found the components of Sun Silver. It's iron, goblin ore, and fire powder. Praise the gods. Of course. How could I forget? Why don't you take that scroll for your kindness? I've no need of it. We've definitely earned that. Ache. Ache. There we go. Roll of advantage. Did you see this scroll first? Uh, no. All right. He's brave and he's honest. Oh, well, the game just crashed. So, I guess we're going to call it an episode there. So, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys on the next episode.